degassing to reception facilities. The informal working group proposes to allow degassing to reception facilities in the ADN 2019. Degassing to reception facilities must meet the requirements set forth in Working Paper 47. In this animation, we show a simplification of a Type-C tanker degassing to a reception facility, which must comply with the requirements. The five most important requirements the informal working group proposes for the degassing to reception facilities are The ship must be moored before the degassing begins. The checklist degassing to reception facilities must be filled in by the skipper and operator of the reception facility. The ship must be earthed. All piping connected between the degassing vessel and the reception facility shall be equipped with an appropriate flame arrester if explosion protection is required in Table C, Column 17. It must be possible to stop the degassing operation at any time by means of emergency stop switches. Two on the ship, one aft, and one fore. Two at the reception facility, one at the terminal, and one at the location from which the reception facility is controlled. Degassing to a reception facility can take place in a closed system, or by blowing or sucking the vapors from the cargo tanks to the reception facility while providing clean air from the atmosphere. You are now looking at one cargo tank being degassed. In practice, several cargo tanks can be degassed simultaneously. In a closed system, the reception facility initiates an airflow by creating an over or under pressure. As a result, the gases and vapors will move from the cargo tank towards the reception facility. The vapors can travel to the reception facility through the venting piping or through the piping for loading and unloading. The reception facility removes the gases and vapors from the air and circulates the clean air to the cargo tank. This process is repeated until the desired levels of concentration of gases and vapors in the cargo tanks is reached. Most reception facilities work with suction of clean air from the atmosphere. In order to prevent any open connections to the atmosphere, the informal working group proposes to require a spring-loaded low-pressure valve on the piping. This spring-loaded low-pressure valve shall be equipped with an appropriate flame arrester if explosion protection is required in Table C, Column 17. If the reception facility fails and the under-pressure drops, the spring-loaded low-pressure valve will automatically close. If the vapors travel to the reception facility through the venting piping and the clean air from the atmosphere is provided through the piping for loading and unloading, the spring-loaded low-pressure valve shall be connected to the piping for loading and unloading. If the vapors travel to the reception facility through the piping for loading and unloading and the clean air from the atmosphere is provided through the venting pipe, the spring-loaded low-pressure valve shall be connected to the venting piping. This proposal was the result of the cooperation between the Dutch government, the European Barge Union and the Central Bureau for Inland Barging.